winning the competition was just such a huge confidence boost and um, was such a feather in my cap that you know any when I approach new employers you know it's one of the first things I tell them about and it's always a, a topic for for conversation so um, you know they they want to know more about it and uh, you know I love talking about it so uh, um, it kind of it I mean, interviews can be kind of a stressful situation, and when you have something to talk about that you're really excited about, it kind of eases the mood in, in, in that environment. After winning this competition, I've received several job offers, which was quite exciting. But my goals lay in a different field, so I applied for a PhD scholarship in Australia at the University of Wollongong, and they actually mentioned the fact that they were impressed with me winning this competition, so it has helped me a lot. This competition actually has helped my career. Um, that time, I think nobody knows who I was when uh, in my university. I was I was just a normal student, and then when I went back, and then they was very they were really surprised that I won something. Like, oh, you, you took part in that competition? Uh, yeah, yeah. And then luckily I won. And then they said, okay, do you want to join the university and teach? in the university, so yeah, it has helped me. So, uh, the year after I won the competition, I was out looking for jobs, and when you hand your resume over and you have a line on there that says, winner, world lecture, competition, representative of the United States of America, it gets people's attention. And it gives you a good point of conversation to talk about, and uh, it's a great uh, introduction to, uh, to some of these potential employers. Um, I changed my hat, I got a promotion to a different department at work um, in an area now called durability and reliability that's all about ensuring our cars meet what the world and the customers throw at them over their lifetimes. And so throughout uh, my career has been about explaining and discussing and understanding my ideas, other people's ideas. I would say that it definitely has. So the first thing I would say is that on a CV it's a really good thing to have. So you can put it down and then obviously if anybody asks what your presentation skills are like it's a, it's a big uh, big bonus for you to be able to say something like that. Also I do uh, lectures once a year at my local university, so the University of Sheffield and before everyone the, uh, the lecturer who invites me and always presents me as the international lecture competition winner so it puts a load of pressure on me before I open my mouth but obviously it's a nice thing to have. You get the opportunity to interact with the fellow contestants, IOM3 fellows and also with the sponsors, go around a bit of a sightseeing tour in the city. So basically yes, you build contacts, you enjoy the experience, you get a lot of exposure. Um, I've been quite surprised already, it's been great, there's been a lot of buzz about on social media people adding me on LinkedIn and stuff and, and that was quite a surprise for me. I didn't really have a good idea of the sort of reach of IOM3 and actually um, how many people knew about it and just getting congratulations from, from all over the world. Uh, so I think that it's definitely added to my profile and, 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 that, and that's something that I'm quite excited about. That's tough. Um, explosive. Exquisite. Um, let me think here for a second. It was nerve wracking, actually. <laughs> Phenomenal. This will sound cheesy, but I choose professional. Um, it's uh, it's pretty indescribable. <laughs>